One of my favorite cases was a gentleman that came out to see us from a town about an hour and a half away. He was referred in by a friend who's also a therapist that we saw who had a pain syndrome. But Mike's issues were a bit more complex. He lived in a small town, so everybody knows everybody. And everybody had seen Mike essentially degenerate in front of their eyes. Um, his quality of life started to go down slowly, starting with headaches and balance issues, but it started involving his speech. So when we look at the brain, right, the cerebellum controls all your fine motor movements. So that's your walking, your vision, your speech. And Mike, for lack of a better term, kind of looked and sounded like an alcoholic. He was, he was kind of out of it, you know? He'd kind of mumble his words and he was always kind of in a, in a mental fog. So when a case comes in that's very complex and they've been everywhere and all the experts and all the hospitals and all that sort of thing, we run people through our systems and we can detect whether or not we think we can help them. And certainly we could help Mike. And he came out of that and as a result of his recovery, when we initially started taking care of him, everybody in the town saw that. And that was why I love his story because then he goes back to the post office in a small little town and there's Mike and his eyes are wide up, open and he's speaking clearly and he's, he's, he's Mike again, you know? And it just, I love Mike's story because it illustrates the potential of properly done upper cervical chiropractic care and properly done chiropractic care in general, but the upper cervical spine is so powerful potentially powerful if there's a subluxation there when it comes to brain function. You can literally restore not just the function of that human being, but in doing so, their life, their quality of life. If, if your brain's not functioning right, it ruins everything. It ruins absolutely everything. And so restoring people's health is the first step, but then seeing how they can then go back into their community and live their lives the way that they did before all of this garbage happened to them has got to be one of the most rewarding things that we do.